we face several sustainability challenges. Climate change is among the most pressing ones as it's increasingly impacting people. We can see and feel the impacts of climate change all around us, with extreme weather events causing harm on communities at increasing scale and frequency. Time to act is of the essence. DBS was the first bank in Singapore and among the first 100 globally to join the Net Zero Banking Alliance. And to us, combating climate change is at least three things. First, it's a societal responsibility. Banks have a critical role to play in reallocating capital to facilitate a transition to a lower carbon society and doing so in a just manner. Second, it's a risk imperative. We need to manage physical and transition risks arising out of all this. And third, it's a business opportunity. There are going to be significant investment and financing needs triggered by this move and DBS stands ready to provide our solutions. We have set targets for nine industry sectors covering power, oil and gas, automotive, aviation, shipping, steel, real estate, food and agribusiness and chemicals. These sectors collectively account for the majority of global greenhouse gas emissions. Hence, our targets reflect the material share of emissions attributable to our corporate financing and capital markets activities. They also represent one of the most comprehensive set of targets in the global banking industry thus far. We've established different sets of targets for the different industries. First, emission intensity reduction. They cover sectors such as power, automotive, aviation, shipping, steel and real estate. Then we've got absolute emission reduction for oil and gas and data coverage targets for chemicals and food and agribusiness. The scope of our net zero ambition underlines our belief that the interconnectedness of our economy requires a cross-sector solution to decarbonisation. We will be discussing all these opportunities with our clients and exploring how DBS can support their transition. We've got a strong track record in sustainable finance but we see the need here as much wider than that. Given how pervasive the change required is, we believe that green finance will soon just be mainstream finance. The targets that we announced today are underpinned by four principles. They're grounded in science. We want to embark on a path to net zero that is consistent with inclusive growth and prosperity. Being net zero by 2050 is gonna be our North Star, but we know it's time to act now. And hence, we're also gonna have interim 2030 decarbonization targets. And finally, we see all of this as a collaborative effort as we aim to help our clients in their transition.